You laughing? <laughs> don't laugh here, you know, because I don't make no joke with you. I am going to cut your little tail. Don't play with me, you know. Let us go. Come on. Listen, when I finish with you, you won't be able to sit down, you know. Come on. Today, today, you're going to know where Bali is going, you know. Let me tell you something, my grandfather. To you, you know. I cannot wait for your mother to come back from she honeymoon, you understand? Because I babysitting years now, and I never come across a little boy difficult like you. But auntie, I like the bush. Yeah, well that is all well and good, but you cannot do what you want, you understand? Suppose something happened to you. Every day children is disappearing, you understand what I'm saying? And I cannot make an next child for your mother, so you cannot do what you want, you understand? But my mommy doesn't let me do what I want. Well... That is why you're so unruly. You understand? But when you see I finish making a sandwich, you're going straight in your bed. But my mommy just tell me a bedtime story. Well, not tonight. You're going straight in your bed. Miss Lady, I'm not sleeping until I get a bedtime story. Right? You didn't just call me Miss Lady. I know that. But since you're so fast, Mr. Matt... If it's a bedtime story or what, I gon' give you a bedtime story. Once upon a time, in a small village somewhere in the east, there lived a girl named Cindy. And just like you, Cindy was hard. Cindy never listened to her parents. Cindy, stop doing that. I say, Cindy, stop doing that. Come back just now. Stay right here and don't touch nothing, eh? Okay, Daddy. Where is girl? One day, Cindy was playing in the backyard with her dolls by herself. How I know is because I was her babysitter. Yeah. Bye, mommy. Cook. 
chicken and chips and pizza. Just a little bit food, all right? Come. She walked and walked and the voice kept calling her. Still, she couldn't see who was calling her. Keep walking, it's right down this hill, right down here. Okay, it's right around this tree. Let's keep walking around the tree and we can reach. Keep walking, Cindy, keep walking. We nearly reach. Then she stopped and spoke to the voice. Look, I don't walk in a step further until I see who calling me. <laughs> Cindy saw something in the distance and went off after it. As she ran, she got a brief glimpse of the person or thing that was calling her. The thing or person would appear in the tree, then vanish. Running through the bushes, then vanish. In front of her, behind her, around her, then vanish. Cindy started to get frightened. So she turned around and started to walk home. showed itself. If you see this thing, he or it was short like a child, no clothes, and his legs was back to front. He had on a tiny looking cowboy hat. And it had no face! child that died before it baptized. And it lives deep in the forest all by itself. And it does be very lonely. So it's always looking for children to play with. And it does call to the children. And when the children go to play with it, it does lead the children deep down into the forest. And when the duen get tired, or it get Bored with the children, it does eat them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or whatever time of day it is. Oh, I forget to tell you, Cindy still didn't listen. One day, when she parents was home, Cindy. she was playing the yard. And the voice was calling again. She got up and went towards the voice. Cindy! The 
you do it, show it itself. Hypnotize her. And take she away forever. <laughs> Scare me.